We drink sorrel a lot in the Caribbean at Christmas time. And in Guyana, not Guyana, I grew up thinking that you just use the fruit to make drink. Well, this semester, I'm teaching a sustainable development engineering course, and we've partnered with a local Burmese garden project to help develop our skills. Designed to improve livelihoods of refugees in the Tampa Bay, the garden is located at the St. Mary's Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Refugees grow many crops that they're familiar with from their home country. Yesterday when I was there, I was excited to see the sorrel plants laden with fruit. And when I asked Laku what he called it and how he used it, I got an amazing sustainability lesson in sorrel use and production. See this rosella? The, we eat the fruit and we make the jam and the, the leaf is Burmese people uh, cooking soup and the seed, many seed, we make the oil. Yes, and then this, this thread is, uh, we make the thread and uh, make the clothes. Yes. He packed me off with a box of fruit laden branches, so I decided to start the Christmas season early. After removing the fruit from the branches, I removed the seeds, washed the fruit, boiled with cloves, bay leaves, ginger, and cinnamon. And thanks to my Facebook network, Lena and Gana advised that I could use honey instead of sugar and instructed on what to do with the fruit. Mash or blend and use as a spread. She's going to try cooking the leaves like the Burmese do, and I'm going to ask my students to find out more about using the seeds to make wine and the stem to make clothing. <laughs> 